Have you ever had that weird feeling that things happen for a reason or that it was destiny that made something happen? Perhaps at that moment, we might not even know if it's for good or for bad. The only thing we do know is that one simple action can change our lives forever. In the novel Holes by Lewis Sacker, young Stanley Yelnats gets the same bizarre feeling the day he is wrongfully accused of stealing a pair of very famous running shoes from a shelter. Although the shoes fell from the sky, he is unjustly sentenced to serve time at a Camp Green Lake. Stanley knows he is innocent, yet he can't help it but blame his bad luck on the 100-year-old curse that has plagued his family. After his arrival at Camp Green Lake, which is now a dry wasteland, Stanley is told he must dig a hole a day, as this will help him build character. If he finds anything, he is to report it to the warden immediately. Although at first Stanley believes the warden is just after interesting objects, he soon learns that what she is after is no small treasure. As Stanley is introduced to the boys from Group D, fellow juvenile delinquents, he is initially treated with hostility because he is taking someone else's place. Yet soon, he is able to find a place within the group and he is even renamed as Caveman. It is under the scorching heat of the sun where Stanley learns the meaning of real friendship when he befriends Zero, the shy orphan boy. When Zero decides to run away from camp, Stanley also decides it is time to turn things around. With Zero's help, Stanley is not only able to mature, but more importantly, he is able to fulfill his destiny. Another very important aspect of the novel is the fact that the author integrates three more stories into that of Stanley's. This does not only add background info, but also complexity to the text. One of the most heartfelt stories is that of the outlaw kissing Kate Barlow and her beloved Sam. Through this sweet love story, the narrator reveals the reason why Camp Green Lake dried up. And, more importantly, it reiterates the theme of race. On the other hand, the story of Madame Zeroni and Stanley's great-great-grandfather provides information regarding this mysterious curse that has afflicted the Yelnatus. Together, these stories allow the reader to explore a vast range of themes and topics. Amongst these themes and topics, there is that of friendship, race, family, poverty, bullying, education, and even power struggles. What is more important, however, is the fact that some of these topics are of great importance to young adults since they might find they can relate to Stanley in many ways. Although Holes has a lexile level of 660, it is a book that paves the way for the exploration of relatable topics for teens. If you are concerned regarding the language of the book, there is nothing to worry about since the novel contains no foul language whatsoever. So go ahead, grab the novel, a shovel, and begin digging for the story that will capture your imagination and transport you to Camp Green Lake where yellow spotted lizards, rattlesnakes, and never-ending heat will be the least of your worries.